Controls for the helmsman's seat are centralized on the touch screen for managing speed, and I use the steering wheel to change the course of the DDG. When using the touch screen, it is important to note that your finger is acting as the cursor to point and select things. If you do not put enough pressure on the touch screen, it will not register that you are trying to move the cursor. The touchscreen shows a rudder indicator, nautical compass, speed gauge, pitch control, maneuvering bells, and steaming bells. The rudder indicator gives you the angle of the rudder in degrees. The nautical compass and speed gauge give you the direction the ship is heading and the speed the ship is going in knots. When the pitch control is set to automatic, the pitch will be set based on the bell set for each engine. In manual pitch mode, the helmsman can change the pitch by dragging the indicator. While maneuvering bells is selected, the helmsman can modify each engine separately. The engines can only be set from one bell to the next. While in steaming bells, the engines are set to the same power. The engines must be at the same bell for steaming bells to be activated. The helmsman can drag the throttles to the desired power or use the plus or minus icons to increase the engines by a single mark. The last important point to keep in mind is once the helmsman has control of the DDG, the instructor is no longer able to edit the course and speed of the DDG. If the helmsman display is not set to the correct resolution using the OGRE configuration, the buttons and throttle levers may not be in the correct position.